Greetings family, this is Bomani Tamba. We're live on the Revolutionary Cam here in Georgia at Bomani Technology. And I'm here with my good brother, Mass Kwesi. Greetings, brother. Peace, peace, brother. Glad yes, brother. Here. Uh, we're here to talk about uh, a connection with you from Art Cathy, Black Sip, and the Unapologetic Negro Pian. So this is Bomani on a live exclusive with my good brother, Mass Kwesi. Yes, sir. And you've been involved with all of these different people. Mm -hmm. And it is put your name out there in different ways right mm -hmm. um, and whether it's positive negative it's been a top story yeah. of the 2020 and 2021 right and everything and it has made you re-famous mm -hmm. which is not really a word I think <laughs> but <laughs> uh, or probably saying that now you're even more famous in a bad way or a good way but nevertheless I'm family infamous. I, infamous. The infamous. Nah, I see you here, Bomani. <laughs> That's what's up, family. Yo, we here, Bomani Technology family, well, live so, here in Georgia. Yeah, and, and what we want to do is we want to give you uh, you all value and you know in in knowledge and in understanding and communication. You know we're able, better able to understand. And my role there was a business developer, and I started with Juliet, and I was with her about nine months. Mm -hmm. And when I went to Juliet, like I said, you know uh, I didn't have any prior knowledge to who she was in fact um i met black acres of the gambia rick and his wife cynthia i knew them well All right. you know they took me out to the land and i had a relationship with them before they really started uh building on the land and at that time you know i was there two and a half years and i have family there and things like that and i have a big family there um uh, i'm very i'm connected there and, and that's not in a bad way that means that you know i went there and i integrated and I married into the culture and uh, in, 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 in a unique way, you know, and I was, have been able to empower a lot of people. And I think that was a big part of the jealousy. It's like, you know, you got to bring a brother down and, you know, anytime you see a brother do. If you want to have your dynamic where you have your man on the leash, that's your situation. You right. understand what I'm saying? You got to respect everybody for what they do. Don't try to extend that abuse out into the broader, broader community and public and then uh, to defend and defame something so great as this movement. I remember this guy, a uh, black male, uh, TV or something like this, his brother from UK. It was during the time people was making a bunch of videos and he's up there and he was saying, oh, you know, Art Cathy, just like a bunch of other people, Art Cathy and them, you know, they'll be scamming and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But you know they were they were promoting the very scammer that led the uh, the, the the campaign of slander to undermine our multi million dollar land deal, and that's what we were dealing with big money. That's why people know us. You know, one of our investors she invested at sixteen thousand dollars, and she was a, a manic. You know, just a, 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 their reputations unfolded very quickly, and a lot of this stuff been suppressed. But you know, I brought them in in a, in a temporary capacity to help. And I brought them into my house, and that was a, a, a the, that was a, my mistake. That was a big mistake. But you know, you're trying to help your people, but it's like family. Serious, I got nep I got nephews in, in, in Connecticut. You know, if I see them, it might be a problem. <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying because you know they, you know your your, your family Cain and Abel mentality. Wow. It's the Cain and Abel mentality, and, you know, and, 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 and not, yeah, you know, in our communities here, our communities been destroyed. But you know. You know, so that's spilled over into the movement, and you know, like I said, you know, we have to the people that's involved with, it, and I spoke about it. You know, Juliet and Adrian, and they know I came over there. Adrian, no, he goes on a video saying, you know, Quasi's a humble, humble brother, and that's the first time I watched those videos because I really right. didn't spend time because I have family, I have my own thing going on, and I was making a contribution to the uh, forty and people that invested money there. You know, uh, it, it was probably about 45 people when we had over, uh, we had about 200 people. So we uh, took in over 100,000 in, um, you know, uh, disinvestments. And we started, to, it was during the pandemic. So we were seeing the type of uh, response that we were getting from the community as far as coming over here was tremendous because there was no negative. Excellent. This was the, this was the way out. This was the light at the end of the so tunnel. So you're creating a path for people to reconnect to this good thing set up. Right, right. So people you, you, were coming over, and so we had a methodology and how we were going to execute that through vacation properties, all right. uh, which I presented when I went with Juliet. Because I'm, a, you know, I have my own thing going. Invest Relocate Africa. I built that. Uh, I have a website. It's a very, uh, you know, a total holistic website that I built with many, many pages 
around the repatriation movement when right. I first started seeing you. Right. I was working with another guy. He ended up to turn to be turn out to be a, a leech a loser and try to. Uh, every time you do a son, anybody know that's successful, man. You know you get people, man, that just try to come around you, and you know they 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 don't understand accountability, and you're trying to help them, and then you become the root of all of their problems. You know what I mean? That's a classic relationship. And uh, however, at the end of the day, at the top of this movement. You know, and going over to Africa, is very, I, I would say it would be dangerous for people. See, I went there and I married into the culture. Right. So if anything happened, I got families that, you know, I just, I'm, I'm at my family house. If anything break out and, and you can't get out the country, but if you live in by yourself in the compound and then, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the people decide that, hey, you know, you are a problem here, then who would want to stay in an environment like that? Serious. You know, go go back to Africa. He made a video about how you know everybody know that there there's becoming anti you know a diaspora sentiment in, in these African nations because we're going over there with our trauma and our pain. And Gambia was a, a prime example of that. And Negro P. And I know we're supposed to be talking about him, but like I said, he's yeah, such a nice. trying to draw a connection into and into Julia how fueled him. She that's how he because started, because one, he was the one main, point to turn around line. and then I see you in an interview. And I see you and two other ladies. Well, I did. I did interview with him, but you know, he's a he's a hater, and you know, like you have those type of brothers, man. And you know, he's married to a white woman, so we we, we a white that. devil. Right. <laughs> you know, and you know, he you know he he don't even have a job. But you know, like I was saying before, so so we all conclude that uh, you know he, he's a bum. He doesn't have a job. He well, literally just on I, YouTube I, hustle, so he's like doing that YouTube hustle. Day, like, like I said, with everything that he did to the movement, you would think that him and and, and all of them would have came together and did something great, but no, you know what I mean, nothing Not, ever happened. It came out. They, of they that. were just into this chaos. Chaos. And, but the thing of it is, we're resilient, and then we still doing business. And I keep telling people, I got people purchasing land, building homes, getting things set up. We got people traveling on many tours. Right. So I was like, the haters can say what they want to say mm -hmm. and they can run their mouth and, and talk all there. kind of gossip and things. But real intelligent business people out there, they're going to do their homework and things like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, brother, you you know, you hear about money technology, all the stuff technically has been set up. I mean, this has been a decade it's and a half organization. Of, yeah. Of, yeah. Of operation to where I can get more mm -hmm. done yeah. in this office than 10 people together in an office for a whole week. Right. Because of the efficiency of just how things flow together. That show you how you don't done. need a lot of people, and I would. And then you have to have the talent because exactly. while the people out there like like Negro Pian who don't have a job, don't have anything going for themselves, they don't have any talent. They could barely even edit videos. Well, you, you, you know, things uh, that, Juliet. Juliet got him started in his career with me and R. Kathy. So, so that, you know, that, that kind of because I know he he, he kind of he, he came out, have he a came lot of videos about R. Kathy and um and he Black started Seth. he started with that you know he he attached himself to this great and glorious movement with his uh, well, uh like he was concerned or something like that is that Julia is that like his approach him. like he was concerned about what's going on in the no no the Pan African Republic listen, listen listen Juliet was feeding him information and this is all public knowledge and they, you know he came out and say oh yeah she was the main one giving me information about because she didn't like R. And that's obvious, but for wow. for a, a, a petty dispute between uh, uh, two people, in, 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 you know, at the level of what we're moving at, you right. know, uh, early on when I was, uh, you know, just trying to mediate and just bring some calm, you know, to things, you know, for, it was a mediation. I, mean, I sat right. down with Adrian, you know, I sat down with you and in, 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 uh, the other guy, uh, Mr. Glass, at my compound, you remember? And you came through my door and said, hey, Quasi, you know, I don't know what's going on, man. This is when the first flare up. And I went up there and I said, Juliet Lion Ryan on Facebook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because she's a compulsive liar. You understand what I'm saying? And you got to understand, you come in, you're dealing with people that come from backgrounds. Like, I did a video. My brother got killed 17 years ago. You know, I never dropped was, out of... Uh, this is so... I never went to high school. I was on the street since I was uh, 12, 14 yeah. years old. You know what I mean? And I have family members that's coming home, and they coming home for like murders and double murders and things mm -hmm. like that. And that's just how it was. And I lived around all of that, you know. And, but I was the smart one. You understand what I'm saying? It's not that I couldn't have been in there. I was smart not to make it in there or be inside of the grave. So I'm going over to Africa, and then I got people that's blue collar people, that's you know people that don't really have a realistic understanding, you know, it, you know, uh, uh, of life. You know what I mean? And they chasing American dreams, and we're trying to get rid of the American dream. And then you, you know, this is supposed to be this glorious movement. We're looking like fools. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're looking at the total and complete and absolute fools. And then 
all these YouTubers, like everybody that came out and made videos during that time, you know, people, you know, some people might have had a legitimate uh, grievance against art and her rhetoric, but the art's a general, you know, a drill yeah. sergeant. She's a, a drill sergeant for the movement. When yeah. you go into the military, the, the drill sergeant, he gonna scream in your face, he gonna c cuss you. He gonna curse you, you understand? He gonna make you mad. Right. But that's only gonna make you strong. What that little lady gonna do? You understand what I'm saying? You know, she, you know, uh, and, and she's just like everybody else. We all got situations going on with, you know, right. with us. You understand <laughs> what I mean? You know, and uh, however, we can't bring that out of this country. You know? And, you know, like I said, you know, we spoke earlier, we was gonna get on Negro opinion, but it, it go deeper. It was never about him. It's never about the people. It is kind of like it's kind of like one of those situations where you just cash in and like you see an opportunity. Yeah. But one does you, you have people created more fame. chaos. You have people changing. Yeah, because I mean, cause relatively, he was literally just. I mean, he's still a nobody. I mean, we're not talking he's about somebody that's anybody. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a low life trash. I mean, but you know, you notice, know, um, you know, there, there's people out there that just don't want to see black folks connect and do anything together. So they will support him and things like that. So most of the people that's on his channel are losers. And black and and black people who hate black people, and then naturally the the you white know, folks who mm -hmm. just love to see things like that, and they sponsor and invest in things like that. Because obviously, he has never been able to he interview you, but he never been able to tell you what's his career. Like he came in here and you like you saw my whole career, my life since I was 18 years old. Mm -hmm. Literally, as a person that's a technical, a business person, a person out there that's working, yeah. mm -hmm. contributing to society, not just sitting around and just. Like just eating off the government and begging people for money and things like that, or out there asking for donations and things like that. And that's well, what I tell people. Worker, you know, I, we, yeah, 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 we're, yeah. We're, I consider really, myself a blue collar you know, worker. We're really, <laughs> we're really a, you know, being a business owner and you know, like I said, I'm a, I'm a, say what Adrian said. You know, Quasi's a humble, humble brother. He said that like three times. You know, outside of the situation with his wife, and we've all been in situations like that where we have friends and stuff, and they have wives and things like that. And the brother, like, yo, I got to you know, my wife, you know what I mean, she, and, and things like that. But that don't have any place in the movement, all of that personal stuff. Right. So you put together a board and people that can handle that. And I was saying early on, hey, we need to get, you know, bro, what we're doing is so big right now. We really need to bring in some lawyers and some really professional people, some handlers. Right. You need handlers when you're operating at that level. You understand what I mean? And anybody that have any business sense understand what I'm saying. And I've seen that. And for it to, uh, just with our business, we had uh, on paper, you know, we had over 500 members. We had over uh, half of them investing. Over 200 people uh, pledged investments with, uh, you know, maybe about 45 people actually executing. We have people coming in with big money. I call it the uh, the burning of the Black Wall Street of the Gambia. So, so what stopped that flow and things like that, and then name the names and if you if you want to and everything and well this and is what because we need to all learn from because what we're doing me you we're all sharing different well, things that we can learn about the whole situation and kind of grow from because that's how we do a family we're literally learning to grow from things and one of the we biggest issues in yeah. uh, our movement is literally backstabbing hating ass. Negroes who literally just are uh, just what Negro we call self-hating Negro peons. Yeah, self-hating movement. Self-haters. You know, and, you know and, and over there in Gambia, everybody was uh, up trying to be up under uh, Juliet's uh, umbrella. That they they accept them wrong, but these not really people that I would even deal with in life because right. where I'm from is very rough, and th those type of people wouldn't survive in my type of environment. So I, I, you know, I'm not. So people will say I'm always quiet. I, I, two and a half years, I just stayed in the house and just pretty much stayed away, mm -hmm. you know, because nobody was really over there. I was training a small army of people that could be able to uh, uh, facilitate and, you know, process, you know, uh, large volumes coming through. So we were mm -hmm. creating databases like <clears throat> websites and you know, uh, we have uh, contact management systems, CRMs, where we yeah. and taking notes. And anybody that know me. You know, like at this point, the level at which the drama came was because we were at such a high level. They were talking about big money. Oh, because and the movement was so great because of R. Kathy. And we can't, I have to say R. Kathy. R. Kathy, you know, she produced. She produced. And right. I always told people that when R. Kathy, when the money was coming through and people were sending that money, R. Kathy, we would go, we had a routine. All right. We would go to the ATM. She would give me the money. I would take her to Marone's. You know, we'll do some shopping and stuff like that. 
like this more shopping. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, we spent like 30 or 40 dollars. You understand what I'm saying? And then I would uh, bring her to where she is, and then I would go and do everything I needed to do. She was like, Quasi, I trust you 100%. That's what's up. She would say, she said, Quasi, I don't, you know, because she was going through her own thing. She was going mm -hmm. through something at that time. But she, you know, I couldn't believe she was giving me the money. You know, they were seeing us doing it, but I was like, yo, she was just, you know, when that money came, she gave, me, gave it all to me. So she trusts you like straight up. Yeah, she wasn't even, that's mm -hmm. not, money wasn't even in Art Kathy's mind. Mm -hmm. She was over there and she was going through some uh, things and she was, she was disappointed by her first interaction with Juliet. And that really, I think really just led to uh, mm -hmm. a downslide because Juliet, first Juliet attacked her friend. It's all public uh, that came over there because he went off with the uh, doorman. And at that time, I was there. I was, you know, and I, I know the Larry lady very well. She was humble, but, you know, the way that Juliet went about it. Juliet, you know, like I said, you know, uh, it's just personal uh, character issues that shouldn't be at the forefront of this movement. That's obvious. And you know, her with the this Negro peeing, and you know, they even uh, go back to Africa. He got with those sisters, and they got up there, and they, you know, everybody's laughing. They, the burning of the Black Wall Street in Gambia, and the burning of the. But the, 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 the thing I've I, I literally seen those interviews. <clears throat> yeah. And you know, I always have a fun connection in the Gambia before any of these other people popped up on the scene. Like I'm telling people, I've been traveling to Africa since uh, mid 2000, where we know where none none of these people existed and things like that. But it is it's just funny how that other person that literally tapped into the situation. And they're like building their channels mm -hmm. from these things, and then you, yeah, in oh. the, you as a black man, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That 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 that's part of this because none of these things are moving and going on without you in between it, and then then you're being just like dragged back and forth, and then being mm -hmm. used for views. Because that's what I saw seeing mm -hmm. Nigga P and other people, and, and it, you know, it, you know people had a grievance against art, and and, and, and uh, you know I've had problems with art as well. You understand what I'm saying? All right. And you know, our it's 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 that relationship between you know our, our brotherhood and our sisterhood. You know, you know that sibling mm -hmm. rivalry, the the same thing that we experience in our relationship because culturally, you know, we're doing things. You know, like I said, you know, we're trying to win in a system that's designed for another man to win. But I'm saying, but what also though, you have the outsiders. Like I was saying, explain about yeah, the outside, outside. And I'm not gonna name the other folks, but. Mm -hmm. One, he's one of the prime instigator. Yeah. Because that's one of the things that we have an issue with is while we're doing this movement and we're doing certain things, you have people instigating. You have people literally informing yeah. information. Because I'm always wondering how Negro people and other people get information. Family, we're not, we're not it's stupid. Enough. We know what right. it is. It's our own people in our own organization. Reach well, out to people like Juliet, himself. Juliet and, and had a relationship. But but right. even so, it's, 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 it's you know we go back to this all kind of other movements. We go back to Garvey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you have people literally either working for the system mm -hmm. of giving information or just voluntarily giving information, and then you have other people out there, mm -hmm. which is in a modern day age situation, they're trying to be famous on YouTube. They're trying to mm -hmm. get they're trying to get some YouTube dollars. So yeah, YouTube they dollars. don't care who. They're like, okay, this seems to be some chaos or whatever. Let me just tap into it, and that's what the other folks are yeah. tapping into uh -huh. it. And then, you know, it just became the year of 2020 to 2021 of mm -hmm. this Gambia Drama. unfortunate stuff. Instead of talking about what we like to talk about the Gambia, because mm -hmm. I got to talk the Gambia. We're okay. talking about business, investment. We're this, talking about know, tourism. We're talking about nation building. This, this, man, this man right here, you know, is an absolute genius. And I have to, you, I have to give it to you because, like I said, just looking around and just seeing how everything is organized here. It just uh, makes uh, sense. Uh, you're talking about an office. In an office, <laughs> office yeah, everything organized. And, you know, and he's handling a lot and doing a lot. And to build a, a corporation, you don't need a lot of people. You know, you just need a few people to do that. And then when our people try to give back to our community, like all of our leaders, all of our leaders have been destroyed by the very right, community bro. that would have been benef uh, benefited the most. And we just seen the continuation of that. So we're at 18 minutes right now. I have an emergency. Yeah, absolutely. We're yes, at 18. So, absolutely. We're so family, we keep on going on in this. Ah, we love y'all. What we're going to do is that the saga continues. And we're going to... Yo, we just have a ridiculous what? amount of videos. We, we have, have a long story to tell, but it's broken down into 10 to 20 minute clips of family. Okay. The journey continues, uh, hold tight, the saga continues, and we have more update with you on, we get deep into it with my yeah, brother Mass Quasi. And we're going to get some food. Peace.